Hello, guys. Welcome back to the Flybug Podcast. Today, you got your biggest, bestest host, Sincere. Today, I'm with the co host, Marcos. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We have HR in the building. Ryan here, HR. Today, we got a very special day in American history. This is the first time a U.S. president, ex president, has been charged federally. Ever! Ever. Ever. And found, found guilty. Ever. Three Ever. different sets of charges. <laughs> I have it in my notes. <laughs> I've been writing a lot of stuff down. That was just my intro part. Wait till uh, I get into the second part. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys feel like any other president should have been charged for something off the top of your head? Probably. I mean, I feel like people should have been charged for certain things. Yeah, like I'm saying, like off the top of your head, who? I, okay, my You just my bad, feel my like bad. off vibe? I feel like off vibe, probably Nixon. You know, yeah, Nixon. yeah. I'm yeah. Nixon. Yeah. Nixon, 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 Nixon pro- no, but yeah. Nixon had the whole speech where he was like, "I am not a crook." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was terrible. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. I feel like George W. Bush for doing the slave horse tea thing. Mm. That shit's gross. Wait, George W. Bush. Oh yeah, whoops. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the 2006 <laughs> president. Back to Trump, though, bro. Yeah. Okay, the first one is Manhattan hush money case. Have y'all heard about this? I have heard about. I'm okay. a little bit familiar with the case. Charges: 34 felony counts related to falsifying business records to cover up hush money payments to porn star. Stormy Daniels. Wow. I don't think the having sex with a porn star is not an issue. It's not illegal. No, 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 no. no. That's not, Paying yeah. somebody and having them do an NDA yeah. is not illegal. Uh, I think the legal part was like making payments to her to directly influence the polls. All the 2016 that. election. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There was a lot of, uh, obviously, backlash from when the story first came out. And now... His supporters are still supportive. You know, they're gonna, yeah, they are. They're gonna ride with that man for a very long time. Yeah. And the fact that they could generate, I think, millions of dollars in support in like less than twenty four hours, it's it's bad. Like people who do criminal type shit, criminal type activities, and the public still sees them as innocent. And when he says, "Hey, this was rigged against me from the start," and people just start believing in them. That's kind of a concern. There's a lot okay. of people. There's a lot of them. The person who facilitated the payments, Michael Cohen. It's going to be a repeated name today. Mm. Michael Cohen is Trump's lawyer. He is, well, I guess I'm going I'm to tell you what it is and you tell me how you feel okay. about this Mike Cohen dude. Michael Cohen. Michael. Oh, also, just last fact, he was found guilty May 30th. Do you feel like that's crazy if he goes to jail? Yeah. Not like not like crazy because he broke the law. I'm just saying crazy that we could possibly have a president that was just out of jail. It sounds kind of badass, obviously. Like, we can't contain this dude. He's up, he's up there. Everybody's yeah. supporting him. And this, yeah. But he's paying all this the, hush money. The truth about the matter is he was convicted. It had enough evidence. I'm surprised more people are not already convinced he's going to jail. Yeah. I mean, because he's probably just going to pay a fine or something. Yeah. That's what I feel. That's what I feel like is more likely to happen yeah. than him to actually sit in a jail. Right now, he's in a good middle ground because he's like, oh, if I might go to jail for a second, people might love that shit, but I'm not going to be in jail long enough where I can't run. His second thing going mm-hmm. on, which is the, the classified documents case, mm-hmm. which got dismissed or pushed back. So now he's not going to be charged until after the election. Really? So I'm assuming that the mindset behind whatever team he has, this is just my brain power working, <laughs> is to <laughs> take this light shit right now. You could still go run. Oh, fuck the book. I don't need it anymore. I'm cooking. <laughs> um, you could still be president with a felony as long as you have the support and whatnot. Like It's not a against the law. To so be a weird. criminal, yeah, but just people aren't going to vote for fucking criminals usually, you know? Yeah. But since he's already been and proved in this, in this position and everyone thinks that this is bullshit, he still has a chance to go actually be president yeah, and but, be a felon. But fe- felons can't even vote. And now he don't got to vote for himself, bro. That's crazy. They need to you to. The, that is ridiculous. <laughs> just, just that concept is ridiculous. Yeah. You can't vote, but you could be the president. Yeah. I mean, that's interesting. I mean, if you could convince enough people to be like, yeah, 
then why not? I feel like that's our American right to choose yeah. if we want this. Like, if all of us are saying we want this guy to do it, or a majority, or however yeah, we yeah. decide to do it. Man, um, let's put Kodak up there. If we could get enough I mean, people, why, bro. I'm saying like, all right, Lil Durk, can we get Lil Durk up there? He's probably gonna like launch a full SWAT team on Quando Rondo. <laughs> yeah, he's probably going <laughs> like to the Navy push Seals on <laughs> Quando Rondo. <laughs> Donald Trump being president, what happens now? They gotta pass a bill that you can't be a felon and run for presidency. That can't be. I'm Why, sorry. bro? It's contradicting. A felon can't vote. Why would a felon? Be then president? maybe you should change that. Then. Change the fact that you know, because if a person already did their serve time mm. and now they're out and they're a free American, why can't they vote? Non-violent offenders. I'm saying sure. like people who are right in their mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe people who don't have like extreme schizo, like you know, not mentally ill patients. But if you assaulted somebody in the '90s, I don't, I don't care, bro. Hmm. To be honest, especially if you're out right yeah. now, yeah. you served your time for it. Like yeah. you can't do nothing. You can't keep persecuting. Nah, I don't think you could keep persecuting people off their like after they did said time. Yeah, if I, the time, like, if it was right. so egregious, keep them in there until they are innocent. Unless that's not a proper way of punishing people. Yeah, then yeah, we should yeah. probably change that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But can people not rehabilitate? Like, like you know, like yeah. if you fight some dude outside of a bar, now you could never vote again. It's a good point. Not all crimes are. You, you know can't... what? And that's why Brian, right, Who's started Brian? to work with Dom, because yeah. they said, "Man, Dom's a criminal. He beat the f- he beat the mess out of a dude, you know." And then when Dom was telling Brian the story in his garage about what happened with his dad and stuff, then Brian was like, "Damn, bro, you're right. They're wrong." So I agree with you. Nothing yeah. more important than family. Fast and Furious. Yep. Gotcha. The second set of cases. So, 37 counts are related to mishandling cla- classified documents post-presidency. So, this is after he was president. Yeah. He was... The FBI searched his residency in Mar-a-Lago. More documents were found, mm. bro. In the most wicked way, bro. No, dude. Because that dude is crazy. On a golf course? Behind the toilet? It's got to be some. In his bedroom. Wow. Dun, dun. Dang. Man, he was, no, he's about to go to sleep. It's another classified file. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. Did it say where? Like if you had like a little piggy bank or. This was, you know, it was just in his, uh, it was the Florida. Yeah, his Florida <laughs> estate. I am I picture it like how Mr. Krabs had all his money in his bed. Because he didn't oh, trust the yeah, bank. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just pictured fucking papers sticking <laughs> out of Trump's what you classified stamps. What document stamp? I need to find? <laughs> Not even reading. Just <laughs> burn out the reading this. He just never yeah. burned it. <laughs> yeah. It's illegal to take classified documents. Oh, yeah. 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 For yeah. Sure yeah. It, it jeopardizes the safety of Americans, mm-hmm. bro. Mm-hmm. Americans. Putting information in the wrong people's hands. The Russians, pretty much. And Chinese. Mm. That like- shit, we can't, bro, we can't accept shit like that, son. Yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> He's taking a stand right now. Yeah, goddamn right. I had enough. Yeah. Bro. He's done. He's done. Say your piece sincere. I'm about to vote this guy in. No more taking classified documents home. No bueno. You got to leave them in the office after your president and just go home. Mm. What did they take pictures? Don't take pictures of classified documents because mm. then now you have a digital classified document. And that's not legal. Mm. I would never take a classified document home. Mm. I would really read it really fast <laughs> and go home and type it in my phone. They got to find you. Nah, yeah. nah dude. They let somebody do cocaine in the, in the White House. And then they just oh, said, yeah. all right, we can't find him. <laughs> gave up on you it. You don't know who this guy. That dude probably said, man, Trump was probably like, I'm just going to be taking these home. I'm just taking these home. <laughs> Trump does not drink or smoke, by the way. Michael Cohen is back. The lawyer, right? Trump's lawyer turned against him. Ooh, that's dirty. That is dirty. Man. That's how they got the information about the secret files in the Florida bedroom. Damn. Oh my Those were found, I think, around six months 
it's like a six month period after the Mar-a-Lago situation. So they caught him on that shit. And then they're like, oh, we got all the secret documents off of him. He secretly still had some in his Florida residence. And they didn't know until Michael Cohen's bitch ass got caught up with his own legal situation. He requested Trump to pay for his legal things. And Trump said, hell no. Would I look like paying for another grown man? Michael Cohen reported he felt abandoned and alone. So he snitched. He told him about the documents, and then he also took a plea deal, and he's fully participating in the rest of the court yeah, Dang. trial. And that's your that's your that's your main that's lawyer. That's the guy who saw everything. And that's your lawyer, bro. That's, that's the guy who's yeah. like, tell me everything so I could defend you. Mm. And now he's over there like, y'all won't believe what this nigga told me. <laughs> Guess that what his plan of, was? Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. And then what? What did Michael Cohen get caught up in? He had his own case, but what was yeah, that about? he was the one who facilitated the hush money. Got you to Stormy Daniels, you. and they're like, "Hey, you're going to jail too." He's, He's like, like wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> "Go wait, wait, <laughs> going to the ATM is illegal." Huh? <laughs> you know, it'd be crazy if they put him in the same box and just had him box it out. Oh, that would be yeah. pretty cool. I Trump mean, if, probably wants it, that shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's 70, though. I don't know if he wants it. This just got some animosity, bro. <laughs> How old is Michael in. Cohen? Uh, yeah, he's 57. 57? Oh, man. Uh, he's, he's like a young, young kid compared yeah, yeah, to Trump. Yeah, yeah. Who you got some money on for Islam and Dustin? That's a really hard one. I got my money on. Not, quick answer. Islam. Dustin Poirier. Dustin? Dustin the Diamond, out. bro. You're trying to cash out? Dustin the Diamond. Are you I call it? Knockout. Knockout by yes. Dustin? Yes, That's bro. That's crazy. I don't even remember them no, being in the same weight classes, bro. You should bet on it then. I am. That's crazy. Oh. It's going to cancel the podcast for weeks. <laughs> don't ever ask me a stupid question again, Marcos. Dustin by knockout? <laughs> also, I lied. What? There's not three There's not three segments. Oh. Those are the two segments. Two segments? Okay. The third segment mm. is about... Joseph Biden's lies. Well, he lied. Oh my gosh, that's bro. Joe Biden. Yeah. I've never heard his name. I'm a, I was like, who the hell? Who is He's been telling Joseph? you lies this whole time, bro. Was, Joseph, you lied about your name. His name's not Joe. It's Joseph. Oh my God. That's Joseph totally Biden, different. bro. That's, that's a totally, totally different, different vibe. It's, They're just going to get worse. I, I think the last two are debatable. We'll see. But he lied about his academic accomplishments. DJ Joe academics. Biden lied about his DJ academics. Wow. That does sound like something. His DJ yeah, yeah, but he, well, he lied about his, his academic accomplishments. He, right? did. he lied about law school. Yeah, he said that he graduated in the top half of his class. Mm. He actually graduated like 76 mm. out of, I got that right, 85. Yep. Mm. And then he also stated he had three degrees when he only had one. Yeah. I've applied to jobs saying the same thing. <coughs> yeah. I could be president. You I, could still be president, I could bro. Be president. I you could be charged with I that. I have no idea. And oh, still I be could? president. You don't have to tell me that. You could still be president. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> bro, it doesn't matter, bro. Wait a minute. America's <laughs> unfolding. <laughs> Nothing matters, bro. The and next thing, this is when it starts getting wild, bro. Okay. He lied. Mm. About visiting Nelson Mandela in South Africa and being arrested by the apartheid. That's a crazy lie. You know, he later tried to be like, oh, I just used arrested loosely. Yeah. <laughs> but the way he was delivering that speech, walking between tables and shit. And then, yeah. like, he was into the story. Yeah. I just Later picture, on in interviews, <laughs> he had to clarify. Yeah. I just picture if he's walking, telling the story, he's probably just touching, like, black people's heads and shit. <laughs> I, I praised the president. Oh, Ryan, I'm, oh, about to, I'm about to fucking do it, Ryan. I'm about Let to. Him have it, I swear Ryan. to God, if you give me, like, just two more sentences, Ryan, I'm right here. I touched, I touched the top of this. <laughs> I'm about to say my joke. Why? Can come we, on, but can bro. we cut to your camera, please? No. Why? Let them see <laughs> just what you why. look like. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> what were you going to say, Ryan? You just grace their presence, just softly gracing their heads across the It's ground. weird manga reading, motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry about your joke, bro. It was getting there. Yeah. And then he was like, I was there, my brother. 
And then that would have been it, right? That would have been still it. funny, though. And it's then still... that would have been it. If we could cut yeah. everything. I, I was the... thinking of one, too, when he was, but I was like, mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw your veins. Yeah. Holding back. <laughs> fighting for it. I get it. We're all fighting for fame, <laughs> glory, clips. <laughs> We All need right. it. It's my 10,000. It's mine. Why about meeting Nelson Mandela? It's and crazy. Getting arrested for, no, getting, getting arrested, arrested for trying to go see him. Yeah. So he tried to throw the image in our heads that he was like, let me, yeah. let I have let me to see him. <laughs> <laughs> that's my friend in there. <laughs> as far as lies go, that's a pretty good lie. Are you guys ready for his full name? Okay. Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. It's in his name. <laughs> it's in his name. A Robinette. Robin. Hey, yo, Robinette. That is pretty crazy. <laughs> like Robin experiences of other people who really went through stuff. <laughs> oh, hey, oh. <laughs> this guy. Come on, man. Just because we, we know Ten about night. <laughs> since we brought up Donald earlier, Donald's middle name is Donald John Trump. Oh, that's okay. pretty firm, bro. John yeah. Trump is crazy. Yeah, that's pretty good. He's a almost John presidential. <laughs> almost, he's almost presidential. <laughs> he's not trying to get political <laughs> here. It's almost criminal, even. Civil rights movement, bro. Jesus. I, I, was, I, felt, I felt it. I didn't, I didn't want to jump the gun. Bro, he lied about being arrested, about being part of the protest mm. of the civil rights movement. But I could see the mindset of lying about being in South Africa. Like, who's going to know? You know, maybe you went and yeah, shit. Yeah. Maybe you sat with some chief for, for too long. And you're like, I got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the stories I'm going to tell are going to be sick. Yeah, yeah. But in wherever downtown in North Carolina, like, people are there, bro. Yeah. History's and, being written. <laughs> and you were not in the pictures, bro. Mm. And it's also not in your criminal record being arrested. Yeah. Even if it was, you could still Well, he didn't have no, no story to it. Like. He was trying to. No, he lied. Yeah, no, it just, uh, it just. I was hoping he would have went a little further. And then no. I ripped the cages and tried to keep MLK in. They actually was two bullets. <laughs> <laughs> and just when I thought it was safe, Martin. Yeah. And that's so, when I caught him and I laid him slowly. And it wasn't just once either, it was on multiple occasions. I held his wife. And, <laughs> and then Nelson passed me a napkin. <laughs> Oh my God! I almost want to vote for Biden just for that. Just more story time with Grandpa. Yeah, <laughs> man. Damn, Grandpa! Oh. Can you tell us when you met Nelson Mandela you in know. South Africa and you were arrested by the apartheid. Yeah, <laughs> the apartheid. I feel, like you, I feel like you're saying it like terribly. Yeah. Yeah. No, I read it and said it earlier different. I, I sure. thought it was like apartheid. Yeah, yeah, apartheid. yeah. Well, it's not true, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nobody arrested. No, him. I think that's a real thing oh, yeah, that you yeah, just yeah. said. <laughs> Apartheid. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Whatever. All right. What are you saying? Oh I said, God. yeah. I was just saying that he was. He was saying he was a, a part of multiple protests during that time, but it says there's no evidence of him being there. Like <laughs> I said, there's no evidence. I, I really did. want there to be like an actual like. No, you were doing this at the time. You know, I, I wish there was a record. For oh, that. like what he was doing. Yeah. Man, like, time. All right, Ryan. Yeah. What kind of questions you got for us? Oh, uh, yeah. I just wanted to say, like, I guess a general message. Yeah. Is that I do believe that most people do not like or want either of these people having to choose between the lesser of two evils. And then I do hope that we can send the message. The important things are health care and human rights and getting some upgrades like maybe homelessness in Portland, shit like that. So may focus on real shit that needs to get done mm -hmm. and not the two personalities that are being thrown against each other because yeah. people get lost in the sauce. And in the meantime, you don't got health care because you're worried about a weird argument between old dudes when they really probably shouldn't be in the discussion. It's good. It's yeah. really good. No, because those old dudes are not going to have anything to do with our lives in the next 20 years. No, they'll be dead. Yeah, exactly. Questions, 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 questions. with Ryan HR. HR. Welcome, Ryan Higa. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's not, yeah. that's crazy. not me. That's Remember he used to be called Niga Higa? That was his name, yeah, bro. Yeah, don't, yeah, try, yeah. don't look at no, me crazy. Not, You're like, no, no, I was gonna. I was. I remember when they called him that, and I'm like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But I was. That was controversial. Yeah, man. for sure. I feel like it that had to be. It's just like when. Uh, when Nigga's name was Rich Ryan. Brian, <laughs> it was also when, like, Rich Brian, the Asian rapper, was Rich Chigga at some oh, point yeah. back then. And then mm. That was still a little better. It but felt better. 
Yeah, but he was like, I'm going to change it because I don't want to be that guy. Da, da, da. That's and fair. He, so he became Rich Brian after that. What That's fire. Doing? What are the questions, 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 questions with not Ryan Higa? <laughs> First question is, have dinner with Jesus or end slavery or never have it happen? I would, I would, I, I like God. I like I like stuff that's in the book. Dinner with Jesus, you can ask him. Right? Wait, in modern slavery, like what do you mean? I guess like, like any like slavery. Slavery never happened. Slavery never happened. I don't know, I'm bro. That's a pretty good point for talking us. Talking to Jesus or slavery never happened. Yeah, if I, I, I didn't have that, I don't have the like all these talking points and arguments. I mean, I think there is there could be something else that's better than what it was. Four hundred years. Yeah, 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 yeah. That didn't I hold mean, us back. That's a kind bit. of Come on. Oh, but I don't even like, have I, mean, that. I like Jesus as much as the next guy. Believe me. But you can ask Jesus anything. I would ask him, why is it 400? I mean, it's <laughs> no, I know what he would say. Well, more likely, you know, obviously there's a free will. You know, it's hate, love the sin, hate the sinner. I under, I I'm not it. meeting fucking Jesus, bro. Facts. I'm not. I mean, all due respect, I'm I'm going with stopping slavery. I would end modern slavery for sure. It would be funny um, if, like, the whole media. Slavery, of Jesus. like, wait, in American history? Because there's, there's been slaves for. Just like, all time. I'm just saying. All there's time? never been all slaves time. ever, bro. Not shit's going to be done then, man. Yeah, so. Pick your At a certain poison. point, people I mean, weren't paying yeah, people, bro. Pick your poison. Yeah. How are the, you know, pyramids going to be built? Yeah, bro. I'm just going to meet Jesus and keep shit simple. I'm living great. Because you meet Jesus, you can have all the questions Nah, answer. I'm going to stop, stop slavery. I'm gonna see. I'm, I'm see what see what the world is yeah, like. Yeah, I'm just off of unity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, bro. You have a no. Have okay. no PS5. You calling me a mega reader and it makes me bring up this one story I read where it was just like this one group of people freed this whole country from slaves, and because that whole country had not like they couldn't do anything without slaves, they just fell to fucking <laughs> poverty right after that because they're like, how do we cook? How do we clean after <laughs> ourselves? What do we do? Yeah. <laughs> they just died off basically. <laughs> It was a terrible, terrible situation. Uh, Attack on Titans. <laughs> Laundry week. <laughs> no, being dead ass, there are just like, bro, there's no slaves left. Bad, we don't know how to do what we do without yeah. them, and it's crazy. Too bad. Would you rather use sandpaper as toilet paper or hot sauce as eye drops? Um, like every day? Well, yeah. I don't use, I don't use eye, eye drops. drops. <laughs> I'll go hot sauce. Yeah. It's annoying when I have something in my eye, and I'm all like, well... Time to flush it out. <laughs> that would be the way. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be looking forward to it, yeah. but my eyes. Yeah, I've Sorry. never had something in my eye where I had to flush it out. Yeah, with eye drops. Yeah, I didn't think about that part. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I, thought you I usually just let drops. some older lady blow in my eye. Spit yeah. it a lot. That does help though for some. Would you rather be captured by pirates or people from the old west? Somalians or white people? No, like pirates, like Caribbean. Type oh pirates. shit! Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow type shit. Or the guy who was trying to capture Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I, I fucking <laughs> those Old goddamn West, land about, like, guns. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, take them. Cowboy beatbox. All right, take yeah. Wait, what Cowboy. was the question? Have you seen gunslingers back then? What was like, the question? I don't care. Would you rather be captured by pirates, like the yeah. pirates, pirates back then, or? Gunslingers from the West back then. What if they're like Luffy then? Are they bad? Are they gonna be mean to me? Like I'm captured like a, like a kidnap Most victim. Likely, yeah, you're a kidnap Shiznits, victim dude. Yeah, I, I don't want to be. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be not in water. Yeah, there's a lot that happen in water. Yeah, a cowboy, dude. It's all things that happen in the, the West though. You could either be. You're gonna be like dragged. You're gonna be dragged by a horse dragged for by sure. A horse, yeah. Either shot. Yeah. Oh. Lots of I like. I like. What if they there? make you walk the plank? I'd rather be in the ocean than in the. You just want to drown. Never. I'd rather be in the ocean than be in the hot heat desert. The sharks and piranhas are. And that's just what they might let you like. But they also have really busted up swords. They got scabies, right? But most of the time, if you're a prison, something that's such a lie. If you're a prisoner on a ship, you're most likely just gonna be in the bars, like the prison part of it. And if unless, with the barnacles, bro. Unless no, they used to do a thing where they would tie you up on one side and they would drag you all the way over like the bow thing. And then if you're still alive, they'll just drag you back under. And all the oh, barnacles yeah. and muscles on the side that of the ship would just shred you to bits, literally, as they just that's pull crazy. you around, dude. No, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, pirates are that, bad so people. So those two options, and the third option would be you'd be one of the people rowing the fucking boat. 
Like, they had no, I like the barnacles. In, <laughs> in Vikings, yeah, but, uh, like if you're like a prisoner or some shit like that. You're you missing out, bro. <laughs> Had an itch right there. <laughs> now I don't have a back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's, up, no, there's no break from that. I don't trust machine you. Either. You, you really use the row machine. Yeah. <laughs> just, Bro, you just get an exercise and kill it back workout. <laughs> you guys would rather have your. <laughs> yeah, no. I think I'd rather just be in the prison barge. <laughs> yeah, if you pick. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. This one's kind of a silly one. Live in a real haunted She's house or in the middle of the desert. <laughs> Live in a real haunted house or or live in the desert? Middle of the desert. Just with nothing? That's, that's not living, that's dying slowly. <laughs> Just you got like die a house, from a huge you know, a fan or something. Not AC, but a fan. Okay, maybe just a camel in a sack. Of a water camel in a sack. Just whatever shit. you need to survive in the desert. You know? Yeah. Not but the you got to live just in the desert. Yeah. Nomad, like. Are they malicious spirits? Like they stab me in my sleep? No, I don't think so. I'm assuming it's okay. gonna scare the shit out of you all day, bro. Yeah. At some gonna... point, yeah, at some point I'm gonna like find out at Freddy's, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna get used to the jump scares, you know? That happens? Stuff being yeah, yeah. To the main character? At Five Nights at what do you mean? Like I never I don't I'm not into it. Oh no, like you just play the game so often that you're kinda Got used you. to it. I thought you were talking about the character. No, 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 no. Like you yourself build like that tolerance. Like yeah. oh. You get more frustrated that they killed me again. Oh uh, yeah. And if they're not like, malicious, oh. yeah, if they're not malicious, more of just like okay, they're always doing it, so we'll just expect it. Yeah. Haunted house. Haunted house. Yeah. I would hate to deal with ghosts fucking with my shit all the time. I'm gonna be masturbating. I'm, I'm gonna be real to you. I'm gonna make it awkward for them. They're probably. I'm gonna be a roommate. I think they can still like throw you and shit. No, he said they're not malicious. I think they're malicious, bro. It's a haunted house. It's haunted, but not a fucking. I'd say, Church. Tell me, Ryan. I'd say it's tell a me. malicious. It's not paranormal activity malicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm assuming they just can't kill you because you have to live there. Yeah, just like how you have to live in the desert. I'd say but it's just haunted. Mess like with it's you. all spooky shit. They'd mess you with you. To the, it's like a poltergeist. I'd say if anything, it's a poltergeist. Do you think you could take real life scary shit, bro? I don't know. Because uh, they're gonna fuck with you psychologically. Like, you know? like things that you truly there. care about. You got your family and shit around, and you can't. I feel like you can't see shit you, certain amount of times. Like you can't watch your family die every day. And be yeah. Like, oh yeah, this is totally normal and cool. Good thing I'm not in the desert <laughs> where I'm hallucinating my family. Like you know, <laughs> yeah. it's one. It's bad either way, but I feel like a person's not supposed to be able to see that wild of shit. Not that I'm like boo. Oh, and you get used to it. It's gonna be some yeah. gross, Weird. crazy, evil shit. Like you ever seen that family if episode of Family Guy where Peter is like, "Yeah, I took a picture every day for like a hundred days, but like slowly throughout the days, it's like the cat child from the Grudge is behind him, <laughs> and then at the end of the clip, he's like five o'clock shadow, and he's like hella stressed out. He's like, "Yeah, I think I'm selling the house soon." <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that. I gotta see that. No, that shit's funny as fuck. Yeah. I got slaves and Jesus in my corner. (laughs) Fight the ghost. (laughs) That's pretty cool. Having Jesus in your corner is pretty cool. Yeah. I wouldn't even be scared at that point. Never, bro. If I got real haunted house, I'm going to get scientists in there and be like, yo, you got a Luigi's mansion. Just get a Mm. vacuum. (laughs) Suck these guys up. If Luigi could do it, I could do it. So haunted house. Haunted house. You sincere? Um, I don't know. I think I'll go crazy from seeing the stuff. I'll, I'll just be a nomad, bro. I think I'm fine with being a nomad. With like these cool white rags and shit. Going I'd around. also want to ride with a my camel. With just just <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I think you guys are dead for sure. No, we can survive. No, no you guys. I'll are drink cactuses, sure bro. Dead. Eat foxes. I'll be fine. You can't drink that. Some cactuses are fucking a. You can't do that. Psychedelic. It's not even worth it. You can't. That sounds lit, bro. I'm be high. If you're trying to survive out in the desert and you lose your direction and you wake up so, but like, bro, I don't need to go nowhere else. But I'm in the desert. You guys do not know how to navigate. You especially. Yes, I do, bro. This guy. This guy drove. Pioneer. He went to Pioneer Square, right? And let's put this. Hey, nature is different 15 minutes that is away man-made from his house he ended up in salem that is an hour away the only reason why he knew he was in the right place is because he read a fucking sign that said hey you're in a completely <coughs> different place welcome Not- to salem <laughs> <laughs> something like that and i was like salem. <laughs> I, live in, hmm. I live in portland 
You're dead. If I was following the moss trail, <laughs> I would have been fine, bro. You're in the desert. <laughs> exactly. The desert. I know where the sun is uh, at. Desert, desert. No, you don't. Oh, no. Yes, where I know where it, it raises. Okay, it's, where? It's north rising. and south. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, bro. Every time. Do the outro. <laughs> Every time, bro. Dude, that was a Zorro ass moment. That is no. Google it, bro. The what sun is it? What is rises it rises in the east, sets in the west. It doesn't, bro. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Are bro. You ch- okay, Google it, bro. bro New I'll York right is ahead of us. Ryan, Google it. Ryan's Googling it right now. New York is ahead of us. Ryan, Ryan's Googling, right of us Ryan is Googling it right now, bro. Bro, it's north and south is ridiculous. You are you are terrible. That just proved my point. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Watch, bro. No, you're waiting for it. No, brother. Just admit you're wrong. I got. I'm waiting for the facts, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Facts don't care about don't, your feelings, hey, but don't, bro. Don't move the goalposts, though. Every day. Uh huh. The sun, moon, planets, and stars appear to rise in the east and set. In the appear. West. What nah, does it literally nah, do, bro? Dude, nah, come on. Appear. Come on, dude. Appearing, what does it literally do? Appearing is literally appearing in the sky, sincere. Come on. That's from your perspective. <laughs> All right.